also, um, I can s you can see here. Uh, now we have the camera, the camera channel here, and we can separate the axis for almost every every channel in the software. So normally, what you get in in previous versions of Moho or, or in previous versions of Anime Studio is you have one channel for the three axes. So if I wanted to move the um, the camera in X, Y, and Z, um, that automatically created keyframes for the three channels. But now um, we can separate that. So I can separate the dimensions and I can animate every dimension in a different way. So that is very useful also to, to create different kind of animation. Some people in the past um, they created um, different groups to separate uh, the axis, but now you don't need to do that. You just separate uh, in the channels inside of the software. So that is very cool too. Um, let me go back here. I will close this. Files. Okay. So another cool feature is the new Moho exporter. So I, I will show this. Um, very quickly. So in the past we have the batch exporter, okay, and now we have the new Moho exporter, which is similar but it's it is more powerful. So when I open the Moho exporter you can you can see this new um, window here. Okay. And it has some nice options. It's if you need to export several files at the same time and, and you don't want to 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 set up everyone um, uh, by individually, um, you can just go here and change the format quickly. You can select several files um, or or change the output folder. So you can choose the folder, and the software will uh, remember a list of sub of folders here. Um, you can separate by layer comp. You can open the setup here too. So you have many, many new options that will make uh, working with several uh, files to export much, much easier. So this is a uh, a very big improvement, especially if you if you like to work with the batch export or if you like it. Um, one of of the other biggest features coming with Moho 12 is the smart work feature. You probably have seen that, but <laughs> I will show you this again. Um, so, let me go here. Okay, I have some files from Sibra. So, you probably have seen this guy. This is my friend, Oscar. And what you can do with the new uh, smart work feature is that you can create a mesh over an image, or you can create also a match over uh, vector layers. It doesn't matter what uh, uh, what layer you are using. So you can create this mesh and then apply this mesh to an image, and then you can animate the mesh. So you can see this animation here was made by moving the points of that mesh. So we have a great control over the vectors, oh, sorry, over the images now, and we have the almost the same control we have over vectors, but for images. So we can move point by point, or use the um, the magnet tool if we want. So it is very very easy to create the animation, and even when the um, the mesh could look complex, it is very easy to create. So I want to show you an example about uh, how we create this mesh and how we combine this mesh um, with other with other tools in Moho. So I have this lion here, okay, and I will create a new layer. This layer, lion already has a mesh, but I will create a new one. So just to show you how quick you can create a mesh. So you create a vector layer, and I will use the add point tool with uh, sharp corners. And I can create an, an outline for my character. I will make something very quickly. Okay, so let's suppose I have this. 
and then you need to tell the software what details you want to animate. For instance, I want to animate the mouth, so I will put some lines here in the mouth. Uh, probably I want to animate the eye, so I will put some lines here, maybe the ear. Okay. So you decide. You decide where the points will go, and I will point, put some other points here. Okay. So once you are ready, uh, I will put. Of course, you can you can create much more points than what I am adding here, and that will create a better mesh. But I want just to create this quick example. So once I am ready, I can go to the draw menu and I can triangulate this 2D image. So the software automatically will use the points I created to to create triangles for that. So then when I when I have that, I can go to the image layer. I can go to the image tab here in the layer properties and select the layer with the mesh. In this case, it is the layer called layer 2. So once I do that, I will delete the bone animation here. Okay, so once I do that, I can simply hide this layer here, but now if I animate the point, the lion will move. So I can simply animate. If I want him to be happier, I, I can do that. So now, I don't know if it, if it really looks happier, but um, well, I have this animation now, so you can see how quick it is to create that. And also, you can combine this with bones, so in this case, the, the lion has bones, so I can combine the meshes and the bones. And also, you can combine this with the smart bones. So I will go back to my other mesh, the mesh I created before, um, and I will go to the lion here, and I will tell the lion to follow that mesh again. Okay. And again, we have the same control, so we we can move the lion, but we can also add a smart bone. So I have a smart bone here, and I set up this to open or close the mouth. So all that is point animation I created in the vector layer with the mesh, but I assign a, mo a, a smart bone for it. So you can see you can create very complex animation. Uh, using only one image. You can use more, of course, but uh, more than one image, but you can use one and combine that. And I always show this, so it works very good uh, in most of the cases. Uh, sometimes if you do something like this, it, it doesn't look too cool, but <laughs> anyway, the, uh, the tool is very, very powerful. So I, I think the best part of the new mesh tool or the new smart work tool is that you can combine with all the tools you have in in Moho 12. So you you can create very 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 powerful rigs uh, using that. So um, I have another example here, and you can you can see this example um, in the in the software itself. So here I have a a character, okay, who is using meshes. So, for instance, if I move the uh, the arm, the arm is moving exactly in the way I want because I created a mesh for the arm. And actually, I want I want to take advantage to show you another feature here. We have a new um, a new window for the layers, and we have filters, and they are very powerful. So I can search for mesh, and now I can see all the layers of the mesh. So you can see. I have a mesh for the arm, and that allows me to apply a smart bones to an image of, of the arm, so you can control. If I want this uh, arm to move in a curvy way instead of, um, instead of the way it is moving now, I can simply move the points and animate that, and I can save that to a smart bone. So we have, we have the freedom we have with vectors, but now um, using um, using images. So I will go back to the clay crocodile bone layer here and you can see I have this hand animation and again it is a single image but is the mesh the one which is moving. So I save that and I can create this kind of animation here or if I move the 
mouth here, you can see how all these other parts are moving. It is very subtle, but they are moving. So you can create much softer or much more alive uh, animation using um, pictures. Okay, and again, it, it also works with, with vector layers, so you can distort vector layers too to generate different uh, effects or to maybe to work over your animation um, when using, I don't know, if, if, if a character moves quickly in some frame, maybe you can distort only that frame using a mesh uh, uh, and that will be reflected in the animation. So it is a very, very powerful um, tool. So I want to show you here also, we also use that um, in this character. This character was created by um, Alfredo Cáceres and drawn, uh, sorry, and animated by me. Um, but you can see the wings here. They are moving and they are actually one single image. I mean, each wing is one single image. Uh, and you can see also the rocks, which um, are the body of this character. The rocks are moving, simulating a 3D animation. I, I don't know if you can, you will be able to see this in the webinar, but if you have the software, you can check the, uh, the file. So again, all this is made by using uh, meshes. So again, I will filter mesh here. And um, here I, ha I, I can see the mesh of the wing, and you can see the animation of the wing. Here, and the same, the head also has a mesh, so the head moves exactly in the way I want. And also, the flying rock here has a mesh, so all this 3D rotation that, it is subtle here, but it is happening as simulation of a 3D rotation. Um, that is happening with the mesh, so I can simply distort that if I want. So it is exactly the same uh, technology, and it, you, can, you can set up that exactly in the same way I show you with the lion. So we have a very um, diverse, we have many ways to use this tool in different projects. So yeah, this is one of my favorite features coming with, with Moho 12. Um, now related to that, we have new bones which are called uh, pin bones. So it is a, uh, they are similar to normal bones, but I, I want to show you, let me see, webinar, okay. So I, I always use this Will Smith image, uh, just because if you Google face PNG, uh, it is the first image that will, be, will appear. So I just use that. So if I import this face into Moho 12, of course I can create a bone layer, and add bones to it, and I can bend it. This is totally normal, okay? But now I will delete this. We have the new pin bones. So 